Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Jason Crow. I'm extremely honored to be the principal of Mentor High School. Most of you are aware of the straight A grant earned by the Mentor Public Schools. Monies from this grant have been used for a variety of educational services for students and staff. You will note that the school does not look like the traditional schools that we went to. Instead, you will find changes to the environment that support a blended learning approach and fosters collaboration. This is just one of the many classrooms that were updated over the last four years. Other physical changes have also included the complete renovation of the hub, updates to our three lecture halls, and the addition of our professional development center paradigm, which also has two model classrooms. These physical changes are just one part of the grant. Another part involves the professional development of our teaching staff. Changes in the way that content is delivered will further help us support the individual needs of our students. We are continuing to work with the staff to provide opportunities for students to collaborate and participate in small group instruction. The classrooms are designed to accommodate this type of delivery. The other main part of this grant, and the reason we have invited you here tonight, is our one-to-one -one initiative. Our goal in providing these devices is to ensure excellence in education for every student by increasing student engagement and personalizing student learning. Mentor Public Schools is taking innovative steps to dramatically transform teaching and learning. The MacBooks will provide teachers and students the tools necessary to support creativity, critical thinking, communication, and collaboration. There are four specific goals to this initiative. First, we aim to improve academic performance through personalized learning. Curriculum and learning environments will be tailored to meet the different learning needs and aspirations of students, thereby facilitating a personalized learning environment that ensures all students will make growth related to established standards and performance expectations. Additionally, we want to engage students through active learning. We will promote student engagement and enthusiasm for learning by allowing students access to information along with the opportunity to connect it to their learning in a meaningful manner. Our next goal is to enhance the critical thinking and communication goals. Through exposure to high quality, engaging curriculum both traditionally and digitally, our students will become better problem solvers and communicators, thus increasing their abilities to critically analyze and formulate solutions to problems that they will then effectively communicate to the appropriate audience. Finally, we will model and expect teamwork and collaboration. All students will demonstrate the ability to work effectively with others to achieve a common goal so that they are better prepared for the demands of life after high school. To achieve these goals, we will be issuing one Apple MacBook Air along with a case and charger. These items are on loan to the student in good working order. It is the student's responsibility to care for the equipment and ensure that it is retained in a safe environment. Students are required to use the district issued case and may not substitute their own. Identification labels have been placed on the laptop. These labels are not to be removed or modified. If they became damaged or missing, the IT support staff should be contacted for replacements at the Gen Yes desk in the lower hub. Please remember the MacBook has been issued to this student, but it is still the property of the Mentor Public Schools. It is on loan much like your locker and is to be used for educational purposes. Keep in mind that, like your locker, it can be searched or seized if it is suspected or of misuse per the policy and procedures you have or will have signed. Use of this computer as well as access to the computer network, the internet, and the email are a privilege and not a right. As such, we have come up with the following guidelines for use at school and home. And here are a few key ideas for proper usage. Students should never swap or share their computer with another student. It is very important that you bring your laptop fully charged to school each day. Without it, you will not be able to participate in class. Furthermore, students are not allowed to download or install at home or at school any software without the permission of the district IT staff. You are prohibited from downloading or installing illegal music, movies, or copyrighted material. Additionally, altering or modifying the original preset software image without teacher permission is prohibited. Examples of this include, but are not limited to, loading unauthorized software applications, changing the computer name, altering preloaded applications, altering security and filtering software. Also, students are prohibited from taking photos or videos at school without prior approval from teachers and or administrators. Inappropriate use of the camera may result in disciplinary action and we may periodically check devices for unauthorized materials. Please be sure to immediately report any inappropriate or careless use of a device to a teacher or other staff member. Finally, students must comply with all requests to turn over their MacBook by any staff member. Failure to do so may result in disciplinary action. 
The MacBook is being given to you tonight to help you maximize your educational experience at, at Mentor High School. There are, however, features that could disrupt the learning environment. Specifically, students are only allowed to use the following features when they are given permission from their teachers. These features include using headphones in class, downloading programs, music, games, and videos, use of the camera feature, Students, please remember these devices are for educational purposes and should be used as such. Students are encouraged to use their own personal device for other features as they have traditionally done in the past. Parents, please remember Mentor Public Schools does not have control over information found on the internet. While we make an attempt to block access from inappropriate material while students are at school, the student may be able to access inappropriate material while using their home network. It is the parent or guardian's responsibility to supervise the information that a student is accessing from the internet while at home. Students should be aware that internet access and email and other media that are access created and or stored on their computers are the sole property of the district. The district has the right to review these items for appropriateness and to limit or revoke students' access to them at any time and for any reason. All students in grades 9 through 12 will be required to pay a yearly $25 non-refundable computer fee before receiving their MacBook. These fees help to maintain, update, and repair the equipment the students use. The fee will also be used to keep the repair cost for parents down to a fraction of the actual repair cost. When repairs for accidental damages are needed, the first accidental repair is a $50 charge, the second repair is a $75 charge, and the third repair is a $100 charge. After the third repair, students will lose their take-home privileges. If a fourth repair is needed, the fee will be the entire cost of their repair. These charges are yearly and start over with each new school year. Occasionally, unexpected problems occur with the MacBooks that are not the fault of the user. Computer crashes, software errors, etc. The Genius Desk in the lower hub will assist students with resolving these problems. These issues will be, will be remedied at no cost. Students are also responsible for the cost of replacing their power adapter, computer case, and other accessories. The replacement costs for the power adapter and case are as follows. The power adapter is $65. The case is $30. Students are expected to report any damage to their computer as soon as possible or at minimum within a 24-hour period. If the laptop is damaged or not working properly, it must be taken to the Genyes desk in the hub for repair. Temporary replacements, known as swaps, are available at the Genyes desk so that learning is not disrupted by the repair process. Students are responsible for the care of the swap while issued to them. The same MacBook rules and regulations apply to the swaps. Students are required to make frequent backups to their Google Drive in case they need to be issued a swap. Because of warranty requirements, parents' guardians are not authorized to attempt repairs themselves or contract with any other individual or business for the repair of the device. If the MacBook is lost or stolen, a parent or guardian should immediately report the loss or theft to the appropriate unit principal's office. We are very excited for this opportunity and the impact these devices will have on our students' educational experiences here at Mentor High School. Tonight, we have tried to provide you with the information needed to help us maintain these devices over their lifespan. We appreciate your time and continued support. If you do have any questions, please feel free to find myself or any one of our administrators to assist you. Prior to leaving, please make sure to take the acceptable use policy and laptop guidelines and procedures with you to the Student Center to pay your school fees and receive your schedule. Thank you for coming and have a great night. Good evening. My name is Mr. McKnight and I'm excited to have the opportunity to work with the class of 2022 over the next four years. I would like to give you a quick overview of what you and your freshman student can expect from Mentor High School and how we can ensure that all students are successful as they start their high school career. Before we start, I would like to point out a few important people you will be seeing tonight and during the school year. Head Building Principal Mr. Crow, Assistant Principal Mr. McMahon, Athletic Director Mr. Casella, Career Tech Director Mr. Glavin, 12th Grade Principal Mr. Dudziak, 11th grade principal, Mrs. Wolf, and 10th grade principal, Mr. Rothstein. Over the next few years, you will also be getting to know your guidance counselors. Mr. Montgomery for the students' last names A through K, and Ms. Gamori for students' last names L through Z, and Mrs. Maurer will be your Unit 9 secretary. 
High school is a time when students are given more choices and more independence. These include more courses to choose from, as well as more opportunities to be involved in extracurricular activities, athletic programs, and social events. Students and parents are encouraged to look into various courses and programs that Mentor High School has to offer. Students should start setting goals now to make their high school experience successful and to help prepare them for life after high school. We also encourage students to get involved in the variety of extracurriculars offered at Mentor High School. Parents, although high school is a time for increased student independence, you are cautioned that this is not the time to let go. You should still continue to be involved by helping your son or daughter get to school on time, as well as helping them develop a scheduling system to accommodate all their new social and academic responsibilities, such as upcoming projects, tests, or possibly a part-time job. Students, you are cautioned that along with your increased independence comes more responsibility. Students are expected to be mature and responsible enough to handle the additional freedoms they are given. Remember that many of the decisions made over the next four years have lasting effects. High school means a greater emphasis on academic achievement. High school courses are more rigorous and grades determine the kinds of jobs you will get and which colleges you will be accepted into. The consequences for failing classes include having to attend summer school, repeating a course, repeating a grade level, or not participating in academic or extracurricular activities, or possibly not graduating on time. Now I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about some specific information regarding Mentor High School. First is Late Start Wednesdays. On Wednesdays, modules 1-2 do not start until 8.05. Buses will still run at normal times and students will be able to work in the student center, the hub, or one of our digital labs if they arrive to school early. It is very important for freshmen to know once they get dropped off at school, either by parent, friend, or bus, they are required to stay at the school and not leave the building. Students who are found to have left the building after arriving to school will face a disciplinary consequence. When dropping your student off at Mentor High School, you should plan for some extra time. Students, school starts at 7.22 a.m. If you are not in the parking lot by 7 a.m., you will face a 10 to 15 minute delay for traffic. Traffic will back up onto Center Street before school and can extend south to Route 2 and north to Munson Road. We encourage you to drop your child off at school by 7 a.m. to avoid this traffic. When you arrive at school, please drop students off at the main entrance of the building by the flagpole. Please avoid the south parking lot as well as the north parking lot, as that is where buses will be dropping off and picking up students. If you're picking up your son or daughter at the end of the day, please plan to meet your child after 2.35. Our school day ends at 2.26, between 2.15 and 2.35, we have about 40 buses lined up in front of the building, as well as about 800 student drivers exiting the parking lots. Please do not attempt to arrive at the building during this time, as you will be unable to enter the lots. Please plan to pick up your child after 235 to avoid this traffic and foster a smooth traffic pattern at the end of the school day. If you need to visit the school for any reason, drop off lunch or homework, attend meetings, items they forgot at home, etc. Please report to the security booth as you enter the building. The security booth is located at the main entrance. You will enter this by the flagpole. You will need to show identification to be signed in by security before proceeding to the office or wherever it is you need to visit. The daily bell schedule is included in your packet of information you are receiving this evening. We follow the schedule every day with the exception of day one. On the first day of school, students will report to homeroom for the first 20 minutes of the day to receive handbooks and forms. We will follow a revised version of the bell schedule for the remainder of the day. Every student has been assigned an individual locker. 
The locker information will appear on your child's class schedule. We strongly encourage you to keep their locker information confidential, which means when you receive your schedule tonight, please make sure if you post it on social media, you do not take a picture that includes your locker number and combination. We also suggest that students keep items of value at home and to lock up their MacBooks when not using them in their lockers. Students are allowed to use backpacks, so they don't need to visit their lockers between all classes. Our staff has also stressed to students not to lose the paper copy of their class schedule as it has their locker information printed on it. Students who are taking physical education will also receive lockers. Please remind your son or daughter to lock up all items so they do not go missing. The majority of the time when students have things go missing, it is because they are not properly locked up. If your student is going to be missing a full day of school for any reason, you will need to call the attendance line office at 974-5309 before 9 o'clock a.m. Please leave your son or daughter's name, student ID number, and reason for absence. All day absences must be called in by phone. If your son or daughter misses school for a medical reason, please submit a doctor's note to the attendance office upon return to school. If you would like to pick up your son or daughter early, you will be able to either send an email to attendance at mentorschools.org or the student can bring a written note to the Unit 9 office. It is very important that you include your son or daughter's name and grade in the subject line when writing an email. If your son or daughter is going to be tardy to school, they must provide a note from a guardian but remember that the tardy may still not be excused, even if a note is provided. When your son or daughter arrives to school prior to 7.30, students will be permitted to go directly to class without stopping at the security booth. Any student who arrives after 7.30 will need to check in at the security booth and will receive a pass to go to class. If your son or daughter arrives to school after 7.45 without a pass, he or she may be sent to the CLC and be given a school discipline. On the first day of school, students should come prepared with their MacBook, pen or pencil, and notebook. If any other supplies are needed for a class, the teachers will let them know. Also a reminder that all freshmen had summer reading assignments. The contacts for the incoming ninth grade students scheduled to take ninth grade English are Miss Callender, Miss Gregg, Miss Hall, Miss Hart, Miss Koshar, and Miss Steinhoff. The contacts for incoming ninth grade students scheduled to take ninth grade honors English are Mrs. Valentic and Mrs. Koshar. When you go home tonight, Please make sure you log on to Infinite Campus and update your email addresses. A lot of important information will come through emails, including testing schedules, quarterly parent information, and other important Mentor High School information. It is suggested that you visit mentorhigh.com to sign up for daily announcement emails. I look forward to working with the freshman class this year and please email me, mcknightr at mentorschools.org, or call me if you have any questions or concerns.